is how poorly they have played down the stretch in close games. They are 15 and 16. Twice they had an 18 point lead over Miami. Two separate games. Won't change the way right. he plays. Yeah, it's funny. He, he doesn't race by you and he doesn't jump over you, but he can get where he wants to get to get that shot off. Butler, no. Wilkes with a follow and a finish. That's where I think this. Gerard, 41% from three on the season. Syracuse as a team, 37.5%. Good passing. And Butler, that's what he does. The seven footer, but he is it. Caleb Mills into the game off the bench. Even with the injuries, they're still a deep team. Butler gets a friendly bounce. Oh, the drive by me and cutting that's doing it. Buddy Beheim, when he gets a matchup, is just going after it. And now a guard in Caleb Mills filling that role in the middle of the 2-3 zone. But Florida State now 1 for 10 from 3. He's going to be an outstanding yeah. player. Obviously needs to get stronger. He's rail thin, but strong. Turn around from the elbow, too strong. And it looks like another awesome. You walk in, you walk into an AAU game, and all of a sudden, Coach K has got a bunch yeah. of sixteen-year-olds. He's coaching. <laughs> Mills to Butler. What about like a? You know, he's got the camp. A little bit too strong on the three. Jimmy Beheim, the only starter still in the game for Syracuse. John Butler. And that's what he can do, a seven-foot. But a great job defensively getting back on defense by Helms and Hayes as well to stop the transition bucket. Butler gets it. John Butler, the 7-1 freshman. Point field goals as a freshman at Virginia. Duana with the turnover. Polite. Here's Butler, another triple. Wingspan of about 7-3 on the freshman in the sports world. Shot clock at five. Polite is Butler from the corner. Gets a lot of rainbow on his three pointers, but that one won't drop. As well as a refreshing sign as well. So you start to size up Florida State. They have had such a topsy turvy, fascinating year. Outstanding block by Helms getting up again. A lot of ACC fans in the city of New York. Well, you got to thank Syracuse. So anytime you start talking Syracuse, you're talking fans. Butler connects from three-point distance. You and I will be on the call, I believe, for the Clemson-Georgia Tech game, which Georgia Tech has struggled this year, but that's a rivalry game to say the least. And a slam by Butler. Polite goes over the top of the alley. Just 1,000 career points. We'll see if he, in fact, does return. Butler tried to scoop that one up. Prieto went in hard, and he draws the foul. Right there, but a fan favorite is Prieto. And right now, the defense of Florida State, active hands, coming up with multiple turnovers. Butler has time to line it up. Can't hit the three. It's incredible. I mean, you'll have seasons like this, maybe a niche, but not one where your entire starting five is out to injury. And for this, you can only laugh. Which is what Coach Hamilton does. Just maybe the best defensive team that Mike Braves had. Shot clock in single digits. Butler again, his second three. Singular talent like Blake Wesley. They had a guy go with the potential to be a lottery pick at that spot. It speaks to the ability he has. And Coach Braves just there and chasing some early stuff. You're. You're the more athletic team, and you got to try and find your advantages, and one of them is trying to find sequences to pursue early off. How about John Butler, 11? And he's in studio. He takes a shot at me. I just got to sit here and take it because he knows he's miles and miles away from harm's way. I'm going to see you in the streets one day, Farney, and that is a threat on national television. He's got a, a Vince Vaughn. <laughs> Butler three threes in the first half. That one not close. Florida State is staying in this game with a, def a, a measured level of success defensively. But what they're doing from the three-point line, they're 9 of 18 for three. Butler the other way. Over Lyshevsky, taps it in. Up for Atkinson, blocked. Seven blocks by the Knowles. Butler catch and release. That's good. Notre Dame would clinch the two seed in the ACC tournament. 
Butler backing down Goodwin. Off the window, no. The tip, too strong. Lesheski. Butler. That's a good knockdown for the freshman John Butler. Nice shot fake by Butler from the elbow. Foul. Count the basket plus the foul. A chance. Really good receivers. They're always aware of playing off of those guards. Air ball from the corner from Butler. Player, but that is his calling card. Nice move again by John Butler. Are you not entertained by the 7 1 freshman? Hesitation dribble. Malay and rolls off the rim for Evans. But a follow. Missed everything for John Butler. He hit Clark quickly the other way. Resets to Worley. A little over six minutes gone by in the second half. And now it is Butler from the elbow. That was well short as well. He's a talented freshman, John Butler, fading away. Can't connect. Cleveland through contact, bounced out Butler. And a foul comes in zone can't connect Butler wide open for three missed it cannot ask for a better look off of final five minutes of the first half good opportunity for Florida State to cut it to single digits Butler got it swatted away better in transition than they have been in the half court Butler spots up for three, does not drop. Boston. Post tangled up, stolen away by Cleveland, lofted ahead to Evans. Here's John Butler, transition three. Wilkes tracks down the offensive rebound. Three points off turnovers. Mm, and that is really the story of the game, of their ability to get steals. And there's Carnet. Good look for Butler. And again, these are clean. At Virginia, Syracuse twice. Duke at Notre Dame where they lost it overtime. So you could say, well, they came in on a five-game losing streak. But they've been playing high-level hoops. Just haven't. In the case of the Green Phoenix. Parecía pérdida de balón, aparece nuevamente el conjunto visitante, el intento de tres puntos y se termina quedando corto. El hombre quien aparece en el rebote es Wendell Moore, quien además le terminan cometiendo falta. Fue puntual sobre la figura de Paolo Banchero y es recuperación de balón para la escuadra visitante. Atención con los pases atrás, qué bonito pase, asistencia y cuenta. Gran jugada la que hace ya. A Paolo Banchero también, ¿eh? Sí. Totalmente de acuerdo contigo. Se ha, habido, se ha visto poco de Paolo Banchero. Las coberturas individuales y sobre todo dos contra uno han sido promediadas hasta antes del día de hoy. Solamente en esta jornada son nueve y contando. Y no estamos tomando en cuenta las asistencias para este joven jugador de básquetbol. Vamos a ver quién la pide, quién la busca, quién dice yo. Finalmente la posición. El mes de noviembre. Ya le tocó al coach Kay realizar su última visita como head coach histórico de este programa a uh, North Carolina el mes pasado decides when they're going to get tired of losing Hunter picked up the foul for Clemson Butler behind the line over the top of an awkward fall from Sheffield hey. Butler three ball he knocks it down John Butler First points of the game for him, and that was a gift, really, to Shefflin. He's got the basketball. Keep an eye on that shot clock. Mike gets down to 10. Butler, offline. Yeah, but uh, Cleveland, three on the shot clock. Twisting shot from Cleveland. Over the top, Butler try to jam it. Hunter runs it down for the Tigers. Uh, this no. is Hall behind the place. Team that he's coached in a very long time, but at the same time starting two freshmen. 
but right now expecting these guys to go out and get it done. One of those freshmen misfiring his first jump shot. John Butler, the 7-1 rookie. And on a short one, misses that and a whistle and a foul. And that's going to go against Matthew Cleveland. Another friend. Caleb Love getting downhill and attacking off the bounce, not just settling on the jump shot. Way to in the paint. Decided not to shoot it. Butler will. Got a great look, but he couldn't bury it very effectively there. He doesn't miss many of those. No, a point blank layup opportunity. Baycott unable to finish off. Butler sticks the three. 7 1 freshman off the back iron. And that field goal didn't come for eight and a half minutes of playing action. So right. we'd have to say it's been a better start to this half than it has been the first half. Right. It's the little things. Seminoles, who's on the floor wearing number 30 right now, he is studying to be a meteorologist. But Prieto, believe it or not, doesn't want to be a television meteorologist. That's right. Wants to be more of an analyst. Now North Carolina is back to where they were. In the first half, shooting the basketball extremely well from beyond the arc. Here's Butler again. Rebound deep in the hell from the loose. So a lot of St. Louis love on ESPN here this afternoon. Butler with a launch, and Davis picks off the rebound. And just great interior passing and passing all around for North Carolina in this game today as Butler goes to the mid-range, unable to knock it down. Back to nine. Butler again, slashing inside and drives it in for two and takes the hit as well. This is something Leonard Hamilton would like. He's been in ICU and knowing what's important in life, that family comes first. He said, you know, I've got my North Carolina family. I love everyone. I will see you soon, but I have to take care of He got switched on to Mills. Butler at seven foot one. He is uber talented, but he. There's Mills off the shot fake, giving it up for Butler. That three is short, and Odu Cali with a rebound. And they said this is a situation that look other teams have had to deal with, and basically it's their turn. The problem is, Evan, that uh, you know it's not one through five that gets impacted; it's six through ten. Right. The steal in the backcourt, and Mills missed the close shot, and then he gets the tip back from Prieto. Finally, the Seminoles get a bucket, and it's Prieto. Apa. Four plus minute scoring drought. He's kicked to the corner. Butler. Silky smooth drive and he missed it. Because he because of his weight, he's he those guys a bucket. Snap this skid. Well, just older guys who are experienced who can calm things down. Their ninth straight miss from the floor. When is the last time I did this? But he was encouraged by what he saw, even though they didn't get the win. Butler. That one doesn't fall. And Dawes pushing the The Hokies were unconscious from beyond the three-point arc, so that's helped make that helped make that strategy very effective. Coach Hamilton said, I don't know if you can make 18 threes in the gym by yourself, as Butler is gonna have a left ankle surgery tomorrow. Mills up top to Cleveland. Excuse me, that one is gonna do go down for Butler. Strong on the inside, only six feet six, but a powerful body, and he used the body that time. Butler tries to dial up again for distance. That one doesn't go. That rebound went down to Shefflin. It's like working the baseline. Finds Butler. That one's out of bounds, and that one's going to stay with Florida State with 17 left on the shot clock. Points four for five from the field. And he's just getting anything he wants in the paint against this stingy Florida State defense. He's found a way. That bucket no good from the outside. Season Harrison Preto, a meteorology graduate student who gained his interest in weather during Hurricane Katrina, actually. Preto's a special guest on the Weather Channel with a few of their local members. And guy you can't lose. If you give him that much time, he is a deadly three-point shooter. Clemson shooting 46% from the three-point line. Figures at this point in the night. The dish out. 
Butler, corner three. No good. Oh, Point football. game. Who does the ball go to here? Evans. Well, it goes to Butler if you're looking for a three. Butler just short on the play. And Boy, that was in the cylinder. Anthony Polite. That's a guy they're really going to lean on today. Absolutely. Let's look forward to a big performance from Anthony Polite in this one. The, the only leader on the floor for Florida. Top score, number two rebounder. At 25 points against Duke, so he's done it against big time competition. Butler, a long one. Got it! John Butler. He's the guy also in the pack with it. Early from the corner. That won't drop. One dribble down. Butler! Hit me going to the line. John Butler to shoot. Actually took a lead. But they're going to try to find a way to do the same here off the defense. And John Butler knocked down the three. And Florida State's going to need a lot more steals. We talked about they lead the threes. He said, look, if we have any chance of pulling off the upset, we're going to have to knock down some threes. Every shot they've taken tonight has been from three. And there's a three that falls for John Buck. Georgia Tech continues to stay in a matchup zone. Butler left open for three. He'll usually make you pay all season at Georgia Tech. Just one in six at ACC play as the lead. John Butler gives it right back to Florida State. Using that seven foot. Here's John Butler off the mark. Seminoles in a three minute scoring drought. Butler, no good. Getting good. Not stringing together possessions. They're doing it right now. Trying to continue it. Butler, wide open from three. Got it! Four straight makes. Here's Mills, thought about a three, and he can certainly hit that shot. Makes about 37%. So can Butler, but he left it short. 7-1 freshman, not bashful. Absolutely, we'll see. I know we have Cleveland and Memphis as far as the GMs involved. Is Butler takes it to the rim, and Butler, one of the guys they're here to see. However, I'm not sure he's ready for that level yet. And down here for the Hurricanes. Rolling inside, off the window, and the follow-up by Butler. And the freshman, Johnny on the spot. And part of Florida State will want to give up a layup for a three, but a contested layup, you may want to look at Wong on that possession. Butler a three, no. That triggers a fast break here by Moore. One man back. So good as well, and away comes Raekwon Evans. John Butler on his way to the basket, lays it in in transition. Florida State out ahead, 2-0. They're starting five for the third straight game, Naheem McLeod, this season. We'll go ahead and also take a look at the starting five for North Florida. And Adam Doyen, Dorian James, Hicklin, Abar, and Parker comprise the starters for the Ospreys. Go. 13.7 rebounds in the contest in 2020. Butler looking for three. Made a couple against Duke. Mills on the shot thing. Penetrates down the baseline. Kicks it over to Polite. Back out wide to Butler. Looking for three. This one short bouncing around. McLeod tries to. Mills back the other way. Inside 10 minutes left to play. Good-looking stroke from John Butler on the baseline. And Florida's giving it up to Mills. Inside again to Cleveland. Extra pass down low. Butler tried to lay it in through contact. Extra pass, not selling for a good shot to get a great shot. And A.J. Griffin, who's been shooting the basketball extremely well, knocking it down. John Butler, a 7-foot-1, 190 pass. Warwick. Butler, his second three of the game. The COVID pause coming back, not scoring at the clip that he was earlier, and has been affected by the time off. Butler, another one. John Butler with three three pointers already. The three, Butler the rebound. And he can do this too. 7-1. He can bring the ball up the court. He'll pull up for a jumper. 
But that's, you know, when you think about that, if you're 7-1 for Wendell Moore Jr., only four for Paolo Bancaro, and if Duke wants to win this game here in front of this rowdy crowd, uh-oh. Oh, rowdier. The footer coming out there getting after it and not giving Wendell a good look. Now he's open in the corner. Around and out. And it's Duke ball. But you see the level... Light finds Butler in the corner. Mid-range jumper. Soft touch from the 7-1 freshman having the best game. Ball and make a play in the middle of this zone. Butler. And down with a rebound, Williams. Good effort. Good excellence. will kick it out. Swinging it around for Polite. Big rebound and heavy traffic here, and that'll roll in. Butler wanted a foul. He is one of the three. Has been a, a staple of black coaches in the ACC for the last 20 seasons. Butler trying to make an adjustment there. Draw the foul by Anselm, but he had walked away from coaching. I have to defend him. Seen Charlie Moore at times just really take over offensively for this Miami team. Here's Butler. Smashes it in from three-point land. I, I bet you he's going to get back and play defense. There's Mills. Butler will swing it. Uh, he can hit it from there. And that's going to drop in. He's got that shooter's touch. Well, the corner is his spot. Now his second for the state earlier this year. Noah Locke, of course, not a part of that. He wants to win against the Seminoles as well. Here's Butler long distance for a seven-footer, not afraid to put it up from that kind of distance, way up top. And here come the Knowles again. Mills already into double figures, by the way, so he's off to a hot start. Here's Butler from the corner, and he knocks it down. A three-pointer. They're looking for another alley-oop that's worked well twice tonight. Heavy trap, Osborne can't finish, but tipped up and in, Butler stayed with him. Two offensive rebound opportunities, second chance. Inbounds batted away, stolen by Florida State. Uh -huh. Caleb Mills gives it up to Cleveland. Bodies flying, no whistle, we play on. NC State will switch in their man-to-man, -man, something that's new and different they worked on yesterday in practice. Butler fires from the corner, Smith the rebound. Why do you think they switched to that? Uh, I think because... Two. Double comes on Polite, finds Butler. McLeod is there on the stick back. That rim's good. No. Wow. That's where he can make, make the most damage for, for the Wolfpack. Cleveland tried to punk a dunk down as John Butler corrals it and scores. Now the dunk would have looked cool. Transfer from Nebraska. NC State back out in front. Eight different Seminoles have scored, including Butler, who just hit a three. Rebound to Breon Pass. Look out. His high school coach and his college coach, Kevin Keatsy, is one of the most competitive guys they've been around. John Butler from the baseline. No, Sebron, another rebound. He's pretty much a three-point specialist, but 70% of his shots come from beyond the arc. Butler gets the immediate answer. The freshman, John Butler. Lipscomb's taken three threes tonight. They've made all of them. And you just looked at those three-point shooting numbers. That's not a fluke. This Bison's team is extremely talented from three. Dim's first miss from D. John Butler, the trailer, takes it to the rim. No good offensive rebound, Osborne. Of the increase in defensive pressure. There's nothing easy for Lipscomb here in the last 10 minutes of this half. Early floater, too much on it, bounces out. Here's Butler, and he hammers it home. John Butler on a rack attack. That you mentioned, the Florida State defense was not bad. It's just that they went into offensive droughts in the second half of both of those games. But the problem named Jacob Ignacevich, you've gone ice cold in this game. Drills the three from the corner. Sick. Dane, that is so rangy. I mean, you hear it all the time. Their link bothers every single pass you attempt. 
And a putback is good by Butler. Well, they, they don't. Yeah, Gamecocks will push tempo on occasion. Frank Martin will tell you that. Frank was in a great mood this morning, too, which you always like. Baseline three is there for Butler. North Carolina try to get this thing 10 or under. Do not let the Seminoles expand on this lead. But Mass, tough when a seven footer does a one dribble pull up. How are you going to contest in two years? Turnover on the inbounds. Florida State with possession. And polite probing somehow gets it outside an open look. Butler off the mark. 50 to 46. Stevenson trying to get more active in the second half. Butler in and out from downtown. Here come the Gamecocks. Full court press in full effect. They get the turnover, the lob, everything but the finish. Butler couldn't put it home. And that's one if you're John Butler, you've got to be expecting that pass and ready to finish overall in this game. So they've got to find a way to get stops if they're going to be able to compete, especially when their offense is struggling the way it is. That time Edwards did get a piece of it, and Syracuse gets a much needed hit it. Syracuse is getting good looks, they're just not making them. They are getting good looks, but you also have to remember, as you mentioned, they did play 50 minutes, an overtime game earlier in the week, and Florida State is after the 94 feet. That opportunities they're getting, especially easy ones on their offensive end. Osborne calling for it, steps into it, kick out, Butler a three. No good. Butler can't. Butler a three, that's no good. Florida State now two. And a rebound pulled down by Polite to the corner. And Butler able to hit. Oh boy. Yeah, that's big. He is going to be, he, but he's not. He can shoot the three at a high rate. Rebound pulled down by first on the Butler. Now Jalen Worley. Butler, that's a three. And he hits another. Oh, that's 7-1. He is going to produce offense right what we expected. There's sizzling. Butler will try another. Ivy picks up the rebound. Well, the Butler will try a three. And the rebound pulled down by Osborne, who's been quiet, polite. By the way. And they scrimmaged them in, I think, late October. He's a, that's a nice touch, John. Does that coach have a name? Yeah, he does. But don't mean Okay. Yeah. How about how about and a really good player? He was. Yeah. In fact, that, you know, it's heartbreaking to talk about those. Which great Purdue team? You know, 88, 80. Uh, two, those guys generally don't stick around, but Matone did, and everybody benefit has benefited. Other end, John Butler, no, on a triple try from the corner. Up for Boston University and a win over Sam Houston State on Monday in Jacksonville. Part of a 4-2 start for the Terriers. Butler gets to the rim. It's a very difficult time to lose a family member, particularly such a young family member, is awfully difficult for anybody. He played in the game on Monday. Performances that Leonard Hamilton had ever seen in his coaching career. His teammates are going to try to pick. Juwan Gordon, jumper. No, Matthew Cleveland, rebound. Butler for three. The length of Butler right there spoiled an offensive rebound for Kobe Brown. Normally he would have made that. Butler, nice follow through and in for the freshman. Florida State has been pushing all game long. Wyatt Wilkes thought about it. Butler will take the three. That's off the edge. Knocked around. Are the freshmen out there, they looked a little shaky. It's early. 35 Cleveland is outstanding. Off the back of the rim and Loyola Marymount. Game number zero in white playing with two fouls. That is dangerous. 
John Butler from the baseline, no good. Scott with the rebound. 15-18 to go here in this second half of Fre game one. Frequent substitutions, lots of different patterns, lob play, out of the timeout. You can thank it done here with 3.25 to go with a 20-point bulge. And Tenor Ingham back in this lineup here for Florida State. And from the corner, Butler. The Half court press now for Tulane. Worley at his defender on skates. Butler is there for the flush. Freshman to freshman, Worley finds Butler. Beautiful pass by the open floor. And you can see uh, how Florida State is energized off of turnovers. The freshman John Butler triggers from mid-range and hits. College basketball game, Florida State's almost unbeatable at home. They're getting all they can handle from Tulane. As you see, Dick Vitale, great news from his chemotherapy treatment. 24 hours later, he's feeling great. Has it taken away? Raekwon Evans with it for Florida State. He'll slow things down as he didn't have numbers. Butler left alone. The 7-1 sniper a little too strong. Forbes the rebound. Oh, a five from deep for the Gators. Wide open, John Butler splashes it. Really just watching yesterday, I thought this is their best guy talking about Deruji. And he has carried it from practice to the game. Yeah. I, I think his voice, his confidence, completely understands how to play the game right now. And my, it's a pretty one. And he had to work to get it, but with terrific concentration by Appleby. Now, really good rim decision, Kevin, to yep. let that thing go softly. Contributions from everyone. The set. They've got Oklahoma, Maryland in this non-conference. They will be tested. We will learn quite a bit about this new Gators. He's got that rebound. Push it. One, you might be able to wear Syracuse out a little bit. These guys play a lot of minutes, but they've got to play a faster tempo. You like Mills in the middle of the zone now? I like any playmaker so far in this one. And he's played all over the zone. He's played up top. He's played down on the wing, on the baseline. Prieto with a little reverse scoop. The assist to John Butler. Meteorology. Home plays in the WCC, and John Butler plays in the ACC. And that is a huge difference. If you see John Butler elsewhere, he could be just the fact. Well, the weatherman, the walk-on, Harrison. Engon picks up his dribble. Hands it off to Butler. Five to shoot. Engon for three. Yes! The first triple made for Florida State. They had missed their first four. Florida State no ha encontrado la regularidad hasta el momento en la segunda mitad. Sí, de acuerdo. Ya hablamos de los ajustes que podría hacer el coach K. Florida State was two of nine. Both of those made threes from Wilkes. Now Evans wants to join the party, and he is ripping the ropes for the Noles. Carolina doing a great job attacking the basket and starting to gain some valuable experience. Hubert Davis going to his bench here, heavy down the stretch. And the three-pointer on. Teams are being physical with them, so again, a little fatigue and you're right, he's almost acting like he's a freshman. Caleb So far, foul trouble for the Tigers. Not much. Just Hall with the two. Collins with one. Middlebrooks with one as well. They have five total as Florida State cuts their lead. So, it, I consider it an honor to have that in the history books with the great KO. Well, another easy basket for Florida State. They're really racking up the... Collins right now with eight points. Perfect from the field. Has only missed one free throw. Adds five rebounds to that stat line as well. well that was a nice catch inside. Light, especially today. Have to take that one and not pass up good looks. Look up and that will roll in by McLeod. He's getting more involved in the offense. He really is and playing very good basketball. We mentioned coming for Miami. Wilkes getting it across half court. The swing inside and the stuff. And gone there for the easy basket. He's getting some minutes in this. Knowles rotate to the left to Caleb Mills. Now to Polite. Working on the baseline. Double team back out top to Evans. Good look for Mills. And he's got it. Really good ball movement reverse.
there with them. Florida State trying to make it three consecutive wins in the ACC. Your thoughts on the first half? Well, when you look, it was really a reversal force for these two teams when you consider that Florida State did the job from beyond the arc, shooting five for ten. Syracuse went for Evans, who was very quiet on Saturday in the victory. Butler with the handle. And a great drive underneath to push it in. The lights at 6'6", six, six, a strong move by the senior. Love that. As you comes away, here's Evans. Mills will shoot again. Boy, he can't miss. He is absolutely on fire with 18. Gave up 91 points in that loss at Miami Wednesday. The game they led late in the second half. Caleb Mills for three. That's pure. Caleb Mills finding his footing. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Nothing happening. Wilkes will take the long three. And nothing but the bottom. Butler. All loose. Butler comes up with it. Feed down low. And that's a nice pass inside to Anthony Polite. I think there's only but and Butler with the rebound. Cleveland strong to the rack. And in. He saw his face and used it. Turnover. Wow, look at the pass on the fall. Matthew Cleveland with the finish. John Butler Jr. heads up plays is going down. Well, five straight points. Mills fires from the wing. That's good. FSU is out in front. Eight straight points. For the Switching now to the Seminoles with a shot clock running down. Gerard No rebound Butler. That's a good rebound by John Butler going after that thing with two hands. You know, Syracuse. <laughs> First, I'd have to score. <laughs> Holly. Well, guys, he might uh, not be Jay's guns, but he does have a lot of swagger, and I think that comes from his football background. He was a terrific quarterback. Probably could have gone D1 and played. ball, and the possession arrow will give it back to the Seminole. That was a great fake by Sidibe, but just a superior defensive play by John Butler to come from behind and get all ball on that block. Magnificent game for Swider. Gerard. And the rebound to Butler. But Cleveland was out ahead of the pack, but pretty good pressure on the ball. DC sixth man of the year. Ellums found his footing, but can't hit the shot. And what you're looking at now could be a starting lineup, and they're actually cutting, of course, the nifty layup at the hoop. Hayes right through the lane and not able to finish it, but draws the foul. Tenor Incom getting it done on both ends of the and what's odd enough, Smith has 13, now 13 20 point performances on the season, but a guy that scores like this. I say this only 130 points. At this point, where it's a well oiled machine. Anthony Polite just stopped his 7 0 Notre Dame run. And the rebound by Butler. And throughout the season, playing at a high level, this group has an identity. Those are the teams you look at March. Hub ran into the trees. Here's Worley, the 6'6 point guard over to second and nine. Let's get back to the game. Tied at 33. <laughs> Prentice Hub from the corner. And there's John Butler having himself a first half. 11 points, three rebounds, a couple of blocks. Go volleyball. Can't get it to go. Look, I, I don't understand if you're Cormac Ryan guarding Anthony Polite. It, it seems very Irish in this building two seasons ago. Florida State is staying in this game with a, def a, a measured a level of success defensively, but what they're doing from the three-point line, they're 9 of 18 for three. Butler the other way. Over Leszewski, taps it in. Is both. So now 7 of 19 from the line this season. Hub able to draw the foul. He's made some big shots for Notre Dame this year and throughout his career. Butler backing down Goodwin. Off the window, no. The tip, too strong. Leszewski lost it out of bounds. It belongs to Florida State. What a finish. He won four championships in high school. And that's rare. Freshman all the way through senior year, four state championships. The Gatorade Louisiana Player of the Year and Louisiana Mr. Basketball. 
Hesitation dribble. Belay and rolls off the rim for Evans. But a follow. Missed everything for John Butler. D.A. Clark quickly the other way. Off the window. No. Offensive rebound. Shot clock did not reset. That hits the rim on the putback attempt by Butler, but not in time, according to the officials. So that's a shot. Gives it up to Gardner. Gardner a jumper. Short. Here's Jalen Worley. Four minutes hard, but really has limited uh, his depth and ability for guys to go in those short spurts that he likes. Wyatt Wilkes from the same spot. This time comes up empty. Great hustle. Jaden Zachary. Cleveland through contact, bounced out Butler, and a foul comes in. GCAA, which gets Boston College and other teams interested, and now he's proving he is the Division I player he believed he could be. Amazing, he only had Division II, a one Division II. Easter time on Sunday, right here on the ACC Network. Final five minutes of the first half. Now 23 points off turnovers. Mm. And that is really the story of the game. Of their ability to get steals. Solamente en esta jornada son nueve y contando. Y no estamos tomando en cuenta las asistencias para este joven jugador de básquetbol. Vamos a ver quién la pide, quién la busca, quién dice yo. Finalmente la posición. Collins is back in the lineup. Had to sit with that one game suspension after the flagrant foul. Flagrant two in the game against Duke. Deep into the shot clock. Unsuccessful. He is a double digit scorer on average. Ten and a half points per game for the freshman from Atlanta, Georgia. This is honor again, long range chance. Butler corrals it. That's a shot you could have gotten any time in the shot. Shefflin had it blocked. Here's Butler leading the break. Odd number break. It was two on three. Wilkes joins the party. But Tom, I think, you know, with Clemson now, you, I mean, that's another tough three. Scraping the rafters of the Tucker Center. That ball's available. Butler had missed his only other three-point attempt. More importantly, he ties this game at 46 and then makes the play at the defensive end. Second block for him in two for the three possessions. Cleveland, three on the shot clock. Quick thing shot from Cleveland. Over the top, Butler tried to jam it. Honor runs it down for the Tigers. Uh, this no. is Hall behind the play. Freshman, but right now, expecting these guys to go out and get it done. One of those freshmen. Misfiring his first jump shot, John Butler, the 7-1 rookie. And on a short one, misses that and a whistle. R.J. Davis making shots. You're not going to beat this team. The problem is you don't see it often enough. And it'll count. Baycott rattling that basket. And the lights actually, some of them anyway, went out. And they have come back now pretty much full force. Manic from the corner can't connect. Seminoles 13 and 10 Carolina today here at beautiful Chapel Hill. By the way, it's about 72 degrees outside. Manic with the corner. Some of us have flights back to the a great job securing each and every rebound. Not giving Florida State multiple opportunities. Rejection by Cameron Fletcher. But there have been many stops like that. Trying to lead the ACC in scoring and assist. And his team is a top four team. I mean, that's a pretty spectacular year for a, a newcomer coming in, grad transfer. Who's been in ICU and knowing what's important in life, that family comes first. He said, you know, I've got my North Carolina family. I love everyone. I will see you soon, but I have to take care of that he's done this year for the Panthers after transferring in from Stony Brook. Horton pulls up. Transition swirled it out. Unable to capitalize. Oda Cali with a strong drive. And he draws a foul and will go to the free throw line on the other side. Busy night of.
Gay launches off the mark and the rebound to Florida State. That's a great block out that time. Well, in Tallahassee, it's pit by four. Less than nine to go in this first half. Onibuchi Eziakuda misses from long range. And Pitt takes it away. Oh, he's getting doubled, almost triple teamed on a nightly basis. And teams are being physical with him. So, again, a little fatigue. And you're right, he's almost he's acting like. I mean, it's coming fast, right? The, the defensive double, the trap, whatever it is. And you got to move it. Horton wanted an 8-3. John Butler the rebound. And here comes Florida State. And you mentioned it, Dan, just with Coach Bron Bronwell mentioning run your normal offense, not being hesitant and finding ways to get to their shots. So far, it seems like they have, but this foul is going to actually go against Middlebrook. Right. Not Let's often, Florida, Florida State gives up 45 points in a half. That one pulled down. Butler's done a pretty good job. He's done a and gets to the line. So Clemson in the bonus the rest of the way. Misses. A free throw. Butler then. 16, 23 and 8 on the season 13 and 7 in league play. A really good job by Anselm to get out there and trap that ball along with Cole Swider. I'm not sure Butler was prepared for that. It's in the big fella, a rim run. Willing passers on this Irish squad. They will find you. This is a Notre Dame team that has been fueled by their defensive effort the second half of the season, and it's been night and day in terms of results. Limited uh, his depth and ability for guys to go in those short spurts that he likes. Wyatt Wilkes from the same spot, this time comes up empty. Great hustle, Jaden Zachary ripped it away, took it in. Greenville, South Carolina, Butler 22. Boy, Florida State has really amped it up defensively, running and jumping, deflected, Hall's able to get it. Cleveland was the open man. 5-4. Less than nine to go in this first half. Onibuchi Eziakuda misses from long range. And Pitt takes it away with Will Jeffress. Jeffries great. So since these two teams met on January 4th, Wakes 6-2, and two, Florida State 6-3. and three. Busey has intercepted the bad pass from Butler. Now Florida State shooting about 34% from distance, 45% from the field. Most of their points coming in the paint. That one stripped from Butler. So far, Clemson doing a really nice job preventing. And make this many threes. Lights out, pass was tipped. Butler fighting for it. They tie up with 3.10 to go. Possession arrow will take it to the other end. So he'll have more opportunity. All night long. One team at the top of the standings, one team at the bottom. But you wouldn't know it from looking at these two teams competing tonight. Yellow Jacket swarming on deep. And he will drain one from way downtown. And a big basket, and there's energy back in the arena. And once again, Miami going to try to pick up full court. Coming up with the turnover. Augusti Boy. His own defense has really done a good job reversing the ball. Making the defense have to shift. And then a, a mistake there by Butler as he stepped on the sideline. Trying to create. The assistant coach. The first black coach at the University of Kentucky, a week later after he started as a salesperson at Dow Chemicals, and to this day he says that that opportunity. Running the point, Butler, he's over seven feet tall, but he can stick a three. Thought about it for a moment. Into the paint, slapped away, and scooped up by Charlie Moore. And a block by Butler. Right back in the face of Jordan Miller. But they take it right back. Off their state rival. On the line and a turnover here by Butler. It goes back over to Miami. But Caleb Mills, he didn't get the ooh ah -ha. the post. Smith gives up a lot of size against Osborne. But a great defensive start to the half for NC State as they force a turnover. Seven turns is not one of them. Here's Mills with seven points. Butler stepped on the end line. That's the third time that's happened to Florida State. See it, Terquavy. Respect you. Both these clubs bring so much pressure. That time you get the charge. But you got to have some pressure release sets, both in the full court and the half court. This time, I showed a lot of character to be able to respond that quickly. 
Butler inside right off the knee and out of bounds. Well, that's a grown man. He's coming up against. Another steal. Reese. That ball up there where nobody can catch it. Turnover. It goes the other way. Ethan Morton. A lot of basketball left. Beat on the baseline. Wow. Great pass. Great. I can't wait to see him when he's 24 25. Travel. Those young guys, their feet are not educated at this point in their career. 38% of their minutes off the bench. Butler stepped out of bounds. That's those educated repeat we talked So deep, there's so many guys, so talented. It's just a matter of time uh, before they do it. But they got to take care of the turnovers uh, in this game. Butler threw it right to Jaden Coleman, who pulls up and in all season long. Whoever walks out here with what a takeaway by Jessick rips it away. Another foul. He's heading back to the line. That was Butler who got it. The Irish give it up. State is going to continue to pressure. Must take care of the ball and then see if you can be patient offensively and get it into the paint. That's where Odakali was trying to go, but he got stripped by the Knowles. He gave them a huge boost off the bench and, or excuse me, and fill in role, and uh, certainly it was much needed, and they're going to continue to need his production. Yeah, let chance to get out on the court. Five quick points matching his career high. A storm of Prieto buckets. Another Wake Forest turnover. Got five points, four rebounds in two minutes, Mike. There you go. That's, those are record-setting pace numbers. On the Laravia had it stripped by Evans. Evans. Clemson trying to get out and pressure the ball, and Bohannon just a step behind. As we say, Cleveland going to the basket. He's generally money. Another turnover for the play. Nice move. Shot just won't fall for Worley. And another one and done as Wake Forest doing a good job on the glass. Pass picked off by the athletic big Butler. In that dunk. Wake Forest favorite over the years. Inbounds batted away. Stolen by... It's a jump ball. Good defense from yeah. Caleb Mills in really transition. Good. Really good D to get back. See, when Sebron goes to that, you're... Great takeaway, the lengthy John Butler. Right behind the back, directing traffic. Freshman turns it over. Here come the Knowles the other way. Mills. Before the season began, the prognosticators had Florida State in the top 20. Then they lose to Florida, and all of a sudden they're out of it. I think they were right and to go in this first half. And reaching in, they're going to call a jump ball. Nice defensive play there from John Butler, the freshman from Greenville, South Carolina. Same play. Sadibe, good patience, and just smothered from behind by Butler. That'll be a held ball, and the possession arrow will get out there and your main guys out there as long as you can. But as long as you have to. A shot blocked by Butler, and nobody is there in a white jersey. Again, hold for two. Two for a dollar. <laughs> Neither one, but I can respect it from Jalen Warley. Sebron slicing in. Butler rejected it, but he got it back and stuck it. Standing block by Helms, getting up against the seven-footer. But we look at them moving toward the ACC tournament. Once again, FSU with some locked effort here for Smith. 
has been a little quiet here in the second half. He really has. We talked about Florida State defensively. The focus was on Sebron early. Butler says hello. And in the early part of the season, and Nate Lashewski has been uh, consistent throughout the season playing at a high level. This group has an identity. Those are the teams you look at in March. Cub ran into the trees and executes. Here comes Wesley, who's got nine. Good win, blocked by Butler. Butler the other way. Over Lyshevsky, taps it in. He's one off a career high. Florida State on top. It's a freshman over a senior. From the Crow Tribe. And now Notre Dame. Down two scores. Wesley. Flying down to it. Blocked by Butler. Hamilton at Florida State. He's got a long way to go. He's still learning how to be a basketball player. But again, unreal upside. There's an erase by John Butler on the drive by Clark. Missed it. Cannot ask for a better look off of great ball movement. Great defense. Butler on the other end. Cleveland has 10 of Florida State's 24. Rejected at the rim by Butler. Florida State's been BCC and he has proven he belongs. The performance tonight certainly uh, probably his best of the year. First season at Boston College. 18 points. Vemos sus características eh, de, de cómo trabajar con todos los chicos. Y ahí está la prueba, ya imponiendo su marca totalmente con esos 11 de diferencia. Pero bueno, vamos a ver. He's met in Clemson, South Carolina. Shefflin had it blocked. Here's Butler leading the break. Odd number of break before he stumbled out of bounds. Shot clock, though, on their, on their back. Hunter denied at the rim. Two and three white shirts in the vicinity. Out of bounds and Knowles. Back. Butler had missed his only other three-point attempt. More importantly, he ties this game at 46 and then makes the play at the defensive end. Second block for him in two for the three possessions. Love working on Butler who rejects that at the horn. But home watching the game right now with their head coach Tony Irons and not happy what they saw in the first half. They got denied by Butler back up again another block and a whistle. He is going to feel sorry uh, for Florida State in particular to run and what Leonard Hamilton has done uh, over the last 10 year span. Now Butler gets a block after Odin. They've been able to get balance attack as well at the rim. We've seen the three ball going for them at the rim. Butler with the rejection. Murphy got by Polite. Padula jumping in the lane, blocked by Butler. Loose ball on the deck, scooped up by the Seminoles. That comes to basically at that point to where you have to show some pride to be able to step up to this challenge and find a way to get back into this game in the second half. Butler with the block on Wong there. Wardenberg open from three points. Cancer treatment. A rejection at the rim. Cleveland hasn't been in this game for a long time. Leonard Hamilton stuck with the same five for a while. Butler with a block. It's going to be Moore bringing it up. Guarded by Butler. Six seconds to go. Moore blocked by Butler. Ball's loose. And Florida State's going to... I believe he is. Sam Woodburn, who mistimed it in COVID protocols, comes back to this lineup and really playing a point center. Handles the basketball a lot, makes a lot of plays for the Hurricanes. He's coming back and getting his second bucket of the game. And a block by Butler. Right back in the face of Jordan Miller. But they take it right back. You can see the defensive energy certainly picked up for Florida State. I put pressure like that on the goal. 
Mills is down. Great give and go. There to clean it up, though. John Butler is seven foot. That's got some beef to it. Big time block from John Butler. John Butler from Green. Eli Scott. And the bulldozer into that lane. That block. Two seven footers are in the game at the set. Harris will take it to the hoop. Oh, the block by John Butler. He has been very active down low tonight. Hasselton barges right into McLeod, but nowhere to go. And Jones, an awkward release. There's a foul on the floor. So it's going to stay here for the year for these in-state rivals. Fleming, to, uh, Fleming pounded by Evans. Crossover, nowhere to go. Funky, but it has turned into a good one with less than eight to go in the second half in Tallahassee. 2022, uh, Evan, there's a lot of size out on the floor for both teams. It's going to be interesting to see how two points in the lane comes. And work five quick points matching his career high. A storm of Prieto buckets. Four rebounds in two minutes, Mike. There you go. That's, those are record-setting pace numbers. On the Arabia had it stripped by Evans. Two to three if they can find one. Hilo look to Parker, looking for another jumper. He'll make a trip to the free throw line. Already 11 here in the first half. Brought to you by SoFi Net Gain. So getting ready for the second half. Syracuse just snapped. I don't know if that's the shot you want. Uh, that's the long three by Butler. Play all over this program. Somebody Coach Hamilton relies heavily on for leadership and versatility. Playing the five spot. Oh, with a little reverse scoop, the assist to John Butler. Meteorology major. They call him the weatherman. In position. Behind to Swider, who's going to shoot three after he was fouled by John Butler. Well, you can't foul a jump shooter, but especially if Gerard didn't look to pull up there. But Syracuse is going to try to use some clock. Three-pointer wide. Kansas, but Kentucky and Gonzaga both ahead of Duke, but Duke has beaten both those teams this year. But yet, because the ACC has not had his typical year, that team has been so competitive. But they've rarely been healthy the last six, seven weeks. And Obi, we talked to him pregame, and he talked about how proud he was of this team. And you see it all right now. Th that is going to be explosive tonight when you consider that, Mike. You learned that from watching Sports Center. Here's Smith again. Yes. Coming up on a minute to play here, the 14 point lead for Florida State. Size advantage for Atkinson down low. Instead, Leshevsky. He was shooting defense. He told us they've always been cocky offensively. Now they're cocky defensively, and it's contagious. You have Leshevsky trying to avoid, let's say, a technical foul. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Trey Wirtz all alone, and Blake Wesley. He's now at the point of the season. Down the stretch, he's the alpha, and he knows it. He's not going to wait and it'll allow that pack line defense to load up. Statman for three. That's good. Poindexter kicks to the corner to Statman. That three won't go. The back tap by Kafar. Gardner steps back. Shot clock winding down again. Franklin for three. That's what they were hoping. Back on Virginia, particularly in this building. Statman. I-19. In the points department, but he has set the tone for Boston College. Parece en la jugada. Atención con esta. El intento de pase a dos tiempos. Recupera Moore Jr. Nuevamente con Kales. Is anything surprised about moving over to that head coaching seat? Says no surprises, but it's a different world than what he played in. Just too tough for everybody. He knocked it away and got the rebound. Manic from the corner. Great. Oh. 
Leaky Black looking to get the pass into the corner. Rebound deep into the corner, and Cleveland saves it back over to North Carolina. On the bounce, Davis left. Games uh, where uh, they could have easily won those games by less, uh, they lost by less than 10 points, some of those five. Horton feeling it. Early. John Butler and Cameron Fletcher got banged up with their ankles recently. Both able to go so far tonight, but Leonard Hamilton said dealing with more injuries the last couple of weeks than to stay on the court and not foul out of this game. He's rolling with the 7-1 freshman. Oh, well, just short on the three, but really good look. D extra pass to Burton. A lot of ball movement, nice ball movement for the Tigers, and that one doesn't. Right now, Florida State on the seven at area. Approaching the five minute mark. Ten on well, the shot clock for the Tigers. More, they've made more threes tonight than Clemson. McLeod to be able to watch Ngom do it first before he checked into the game. Coach Hamilton was absolutely fascinated to see how his team might respond with all the youth in the lineup. One ugly defeat for the Seminoles. They turned it over 17 times against the Yellow Jackets, who, of course, have not played very well at all. At the screen for Padula. He can shoot it from there. He'll drive it. Murphy off the fake. There's a long one. Here's DeVoe. Now Usher, those two run the show for Georgia Tech. A give. Usher the steal. DeVoe. That would have taken the roof. It's deadly from three-point land. Shot clock, a factor now, down to three. Here's Miller. Knocked away, a shot clock violation. Rita. And once again, Miami going to try to pick up full court. Coming up with the turnover. Augusty boy, that would have really brought... It's the way you break it down, get that dribble penetration right into the paint. Find an easy one for the big man. On the other end, midcourt, and a little too much. And that's the first half with Syracuse on top, 37. Polite couldn't contain it. Bugassi going back for a three. Mills picks off the rebound, connects. Rebound controlled. And now stolen away by Wartenberg. Here's Wong again. This time, it's true. Collective Craw. Over the top lock. Quarter jumper. Knocked down. A sweet shot there by Mack. My goodness. Could finish kick him as fire. And that's where they've been effective is out in the open floor when they've been. That was just their offense. Let them down. It doesn't seem to be the case tonight. The Lipscomb head on this roster. FSU fans know about that in recent history. Leonard Hamilton recruits link, athleticism. And a heck of a coach as well. Stevenson, the corner today for South Carolina. The freshman point guard from right up the street in Fort Mill. Try to get things back to work. James Reese launching it. Reese, you can just feel like wants to pull the trigger. Carter will. Worley can't connect. Gerard wide open. Oh, great Thompson block. Gets yep. it right back. And now Gillis can't hit that one. Luke, you've seen this guy knock down some quick three pointers. Stefanovic. They're sandwiching Edie. Miss from three. Harper clears it. And now McCoy back the other way. Matone swirls one out. Smith pops in two more and a foul as well. That'll be a blocking foul with a minute 24 to for what had happened a year previous. 40 seconds before the break. Smith trying to add to his total. He does. He's getting up against the seven footer. But we look at them moving toward the ACC tournament. And, and Nate Leshevsky has been uh, consistent throughout the season playing at a high level. This group has an identity. Those are the teams you look at, Mark. Trying to avoid, let's say, a technical foul. 
Yeah, that's a good point. Trey Wirtz all alone. And Ten seconds on the shot clock. Here's Ashton Langford. Great. Esto es efectivo. Pudo haber hecho una mejor ejecución a juzgar por el talento individual que presume este jugador. Atención con esta. Sorry uh, for Florida State in particular to run and what Leonard Hamilton has done uh, over the last 10 years span. For that very difficult offensive foul call. Well, Mike, I count that at least four missed layups. Basketball in conference. And Tennessee, if they're unable to win that game at home, they may want to be one of the teams that one of the, the winner of this game replaces. Sam Wardenberg, who mistimed it in COVID protocols, comes back to this lineup and really playing a point center. Handles the basketball a lot, makes a lot. It's scooped up by Moore. Wardenberg off the fake, takes the hit. A foul by John Butler. In their loss, 4 of 30 against Syracuse in that zone. Dallas Walton is... Great takeaway. On Butler on a rack attack. And the Seminoles up 13. Great. Hard for me to see it all the way back here. You got to put on the Jets if you're an official in this one. Ryan, of course, missed the first five games. Trying to stay healthy. Nothing more than the coach loves better than coming out of a timeout and successfully executing a play. Indeed. Quintana for. It's a win. There's a switch. Shot clock running down. Gerard, left hand. Gerard just got. Sadibe. Good patience. And just smothered from behind by. He's out there as long as he can. For as long as you have to. A shot block. Smith pops in two more and a foul as well. That'll be a blocking foul with a minute 24 to for what had happened. A year previous. 40 seconds before the break. Smith trying to add to his total. He does. He's getting up against the seven footer. But we look at them moving toward the ACC tournament. Uh, it's been a little quiet here in the second half. He really has. We talked about Florida State defensively. The focus was on Seabrook. State has had an answer at every turn today. Sebron forcing the action in the paint again. He'll be back to the use some zone at times to keep guys out of foul trouble, especially in the half court, considering they're unable to press as much without the and, and Nate Lashevsky has been uh, consistent throughout the season playing at a high level. This group has an identity. Those are the teams you look at more. Meteorology major at one of the finest meteorology schools in the country. And defensively tiptoeing out Prieto's like oh, are you gonna come at me and then if not Harrison just says all right you, you don't want to come dance go ahead and knock down the strip going fight against the Notre Dame team that is second in the ACC at 14 and 4 the Irish with a win today would set a school record for both Hub got a long way to go he's still learning how to be a basketball player but again unreal upside there's an erase by John he hey Clark that pass rejected starting lineup turns it over though that's not how Florida State wanted to start but Leonard Hamilton has found four starters most teams really would be unable to compete as 10 of Florida State's 24. Rejected at the re block out that time by Karnick. Now, though, he didn't get the rebound. Uh, he made sure his guy was not going to get it. Reject. Oh, but that's pretty good offense for Florida State. Proven he belongs. The performance tonight certainly. Uh, probably his best of the year.
características eh, de, de cómo trabajar con todos los chicos y ahí está la prueba ya imponiendo su marca totalmente con esos 11 Brian O'Connell, AJ Desai in charge of the proceedings this evening in Tallahassee uh, that's, I mean you look at it, that's Butler on he stumbled out of bounds shot clock though on their, on their back Hunter denied at the rim two and three white. it's only other three point attempt More importantly, he ties this game at 46 and then makes the play at the defensive end. Very small out on the floor. Shefflin, the tallest guy out there. Dawes to a sizzling start. They have not slowed down. Corey, they're hitting 74%. And when you think about... Oh, well, the highest percentage... Love working on Butler, who rejects that. At the horn. Sorry uh, for Florida State, in particular, to run and what Leonard Hamilton has done uh, over the last 10 year span. Horton on a skip. Got it through Butler. Jefferson attacks for that very difficult offensive foul call. Well, Mike, I count that at least four missed layup. Jobs of it so far tonight, but Mills can keep the pressure on. Had a huge game against Miami as well. One of the primary reasons they were able to walk away from that one. But my balance attack as well at the rim. We've seen the three ball going for them at the rim. Butler. Collins. Too strong. Very, very best. I know a lot of folks. Not only doing a lot of shoveling, but battling tremendous cold. A little bit in strong. He'll draw the foul. Basketball in conference. And Tennessee, if they're unable to win that game at home, they may want to be one of the teams that one of the, the winner of this game replaces. Oh, ho, ho, looking for the big response on the other end was Chaz Lanier. Had it denied by the rim. Oh. Bomb back to Hicklin. Now out to Adedoyan. Spin move. Coolers, Mark Williams coming off a sensational game, Corey, against NC State on the weekend. And Mark Williams with eight block shots in depth. Basketball in 2022, Dan. You push it for a three. <laughs> Fan out to the three-point line. Whoa, another strong. Cleveland hasn't been in this game for a long time. Leonard Hamilton stuck with the same five. It's going to be Moore bringing it up. Guarded by Butler. Six seconds to go. Moore blocked by Butler. Balls. They're looking for some size. Wow. Laravia. I like the thought. Maybe he'll find it. Matthew Cleveland has his number called. Cleveland wears number 35, the freshman from Atlanta. Only a minute and a half of action in the first half because of foul for game. And they're doing that against what you said is the tallest team in all of college basketball. Over 300 teams. Yeah, and uh, they are young, but uh, like all in. He's an opener against Bucknell. And look at the 7-1 freshman, John Butler, trying to guard Sebron full court. Sebron goes by him and is fouled by McLeod. See the defensive energy certainly picked up for Florida State. Corners, but it's a good place to attack from. Always the middle of the zone is key, but those corners are going to be key in this one. Jimmy Beheim driving on Engam. Numbers, and when Engam came out, Jim Beheim just took Barama Sadibe out. Frank Anselm is into the game. A block by Anthony Major. They call him the weatherman. He's a storm chaser, too. Swider, and he's going. He said, Anthony Polite, Caleb Mills, those are our energy guys, and they just didn't have it. They got tired. He also said he thought they were being. Sadibe, good patience, and just smothered from behind by. He's out there as long as he can. But as shot. long as you have to. A shot block. How good was Billy Owens? Oh, well, awesome, yeah. Went to the same high school as Jeff Lebo. I guarantee you he's going to be great in this seat at some point. Sebron on the attack and a foul on him. For a celebration early this year and has grown up as a player. He got in trouble with his head coach, <laughs> Leonard. 
Let him uh, vert. And right now, Notre Dame's playing on their heels, giving these guys whatever they want. Florida State converted. That's going to be a matchup advantage. <laughs> Wesley attack mode. La Jordan, we've had Notre Dame a few times. Notre Dame under Mike Bray has had a lot of success. Maybe not the tournament. And then, of course, his involvement with USA Basketball. Uh, that was a differentiator work to now, and he's just not even close. But he's the greatest college basketball coach. Yes. And, and Nate Leshevsky has been uh, consistent throughout the season playing at a high level. This group has an identity. Those are the teams you look at more. First game back for Anthony Polite, who missed the last seven. Atkins in great position. Here comes Wesley, who's got nine. Good win, blocked by him. sixth in the country. That comes your way at four, and uh, you may have heard about this one, Carolina Duke. Some guy with a really hard last name to spell is Coach Butler the other way. Over Leshevsky, taps it in. He's one off a career high. Florida State on top. He's unique, a unicorn. Atkinson down low. And there is so now seven of 19 from the line this season. Hub able to draw the foul. He's made some big shots for Notre Dame this year. Pro tribe. And now Notre Dame down two scores. Wesley off of that injury looked a bit rusty. Very aggressive in the first few possessions here. Favaro in the post, lost it. A nice shot fake, got to his spot. Beekman, back door. Franklin fades away. And Raekwon. He's got a long way to go. He's still learning how to be a basketball player. But again, unreal upside. There's an erase by John. The reverse Ooh. is good once again for Jaden Gardner. He should come back. I mean, you should put another nice five. And a good block by John Butler to challenge Jaden Gardner, but that will put him at the free throw line. The spin and the fadeaway from Gardner comes up shortly. He hit Clark quickly the other way. Stunner step <laughs> dribble. Explosion to the rim. Kafaro. Salads from El Pollo Logo. Hey Clark looking to create space. Lost it. They dive on the floor. It is a turnover. Oh. Warley hit ahead, but there's Stepman. Ashton Langford takes it himself. Didn't get a clean look. Boston College in a scoring drought of nearly four minutes. They've missed their last five shots. That's the bad as 10 of Florida State's 24. Rejected at the Físicas eh, de, de cómo trabajar con todos los chicos. Y ahí está la prueba, ya imponiendo su marca totalmente con esos 11. Podía conseguir un disparo de tres puntos. Nuevamente es posesión para la escuadra de Doug. Y a diferencia de lo que vimos en la primera mitad, esperen ustedes posesiones largas, segundos posibles al reloj. Hasta que se les acabe el reloj de disparo, si es necesario. Atención con Williams. A dos tiempos le sacan el. Georgia. We're inside of 11 minutes to go in our first half. Collins looks one way, goes the other. Circus attempt, but was. Told you Evans got the double digits. He scored double figures in both games against the Tigers. How did Collins calculate that angle? It's only other three point attempt. More importantly, he ties this game at 46 and then makes the play at the defensive end. And it pounds it into the court. Against two defenders, Nas Bohannon, chance at a three. Extended rotation, he needs getting production. How about the Knowles with their largest lead of the evening? Going back to Hemingway, and he goes in for the... He considered the freshman, but the newcomers playing, when you think about Caleb Mills, this is his first opportunity playing for Florida State as well. Travel on Baycott, so no... On the baseline for Baycott, went for the save. Shot clock down to nine. Davis... They got denied by Butler. Back up again. Another block and a whistle. Two big guys go.
North Carolina continued its hot shooting. Styles underneath. North Carolina able to convert. That can happen to anybody. Absolutely. Anyone can go through this. And again, when you've been one of the teams at the top of the league. Seem to be evaporating here at Chapel Hill today. I think that's our fault, Obi. We shouldn't have brought it up. I think we jinxed it. Lebo in the night. A perimeter shooting team. They wanted to limit the paint touches and obviously uh, keep John Hughley uh, under control. Devilize. Oh, to Cali with a strong drive. And he draws a foul and will go to the free throw. Sorry uh, for Florida State in particular to run and what Leonard Hamilton has done uh, over the last 10 year span.